Hey guys, so my name is Rhonda Percivali. Um, I'm a soon to be PhD. I do biomedical research at St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. And uh, talking about information overload, I'm about to give you guys 34 references of information on 20 slides in five minutes. So be prepared. Um, I hope you get at least one thing uh, from, from my talk tonight. And so I'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna talk to you about how what you eat and what you do can affect your genes. And more importantly, how you can, how your lifestyle can basically extend the youthful part of your life and help you age better. So did you know that exercising just four times a week, actually four hours a week, can increase neurogenesis? That is the growth of new brain cells. Actually, it can even increase the hippocampus. That's the part of your brain that's involved in learning and memory. We know some of the things that increase neurogenesis are exercise, dark chocolate and tea, blueberries and red wine, and actually, believe it or not, people, sex, and cannabinoids, which are found in marijuana. I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. OK, things that suppress neurogenesis, trans fats, refined sugar like high fructose corn syrup, nicotine, binge alcohol, cocaine and heroin, and of course, as we know, chronic stress. These monkeys are the same age. The monkey on the left has had a normal diet its entire life. The monkey on the right has had 30% less food its entire life. Look how much younger the monkey on the right looks and think about which monkey you want to be. Okay, <laughs> we know that eating 30% less food has change, changes your genes. It decreases genes that are involved in inflammation. It decreases the expression of genes that are involved in oxidative stress. It increases the inspection of neurotrophic factors. So why is there a trend towards eating more? Childhood obesity is an epidemic in the United States. In 1970, 5% of the children were obese. In 2004, we're up to 20%. So how does this affect the healthcare costs? In 2003, we had basically $75 billion were spent towards obesity-related diseases. That is enough money to feed, clothe, and school 45 million children in developing countries. So you have to ask yourself, are we de-evolving? In a society where we're relying heavily on foods, we don't know where they came from, we don't know what's in them, fast foods, processed foods, it's no wonder we are having an increase in age-related diseases. Vitamin D can actually protect your DNA. Telomeres are caps at the end of your DNA that protect it from unwinding, and it, they decrease every year with age. Vitamin D can actually protect telomere length. So these, these mice are the same age. The mouse on the left has not been able to have vitamin D its entire life. And the mouse on the right has had normal levels in vitamin D. So clearly, vitamin D is somehow involved in the aging process. Now, you may think you're getting enough vitamin D, but actually sunscreen, dark skin color, high body fat, and age all affect the ability of your body to produce vitamin D. If you are any of these things, you probably are not getting enough vitamin D. Inflammation is a major cause of aging. We have inflammatory molecules that are being produced constantly as we age. Did you know that omega-3 can actually reduce the expression of genes that are involved in inflammation? People, take your fish oil. White tea, white tea can actually reduce the expression of genes that are involved in the growth of new fat cells. You may want to grab a cup of tea next time instead of your cup of coffee in the morning. The AGCs are very, very potent antioxidants. And those antioxidants in white tea have been shown to reduce the expression of elastases and collagenases, which break down collagen. Yes, UV radiation is a very major cause of skin aging, and this little kid has the right expression on his face. Vitamin C is absolutely essential for the synthesis of collagen. You cannot make collagen without vitamin C. Collagen is not only important for your skin, but it's an important component of blood vessels, tendons, bones, and ligaments. Just remember scurvy. Don't want it. OK, when you eat fructose, it reacts with proteins, lipids, and DNA in your body to produce something called advanced glycation end products. These are very potent, very dangerous molecules that are accumulating throughout your body as you age, damaging everything from collagen to your brain to your heart to your kidney. Did you know that vitamin B6 here can actually suppress the production of those advanced glycation end products? Ladies, oral contraceptives deplete your vitamin B6 levels. And lastly, 
the sauna. Hyperthermia from sauna bathing can increase the expression of growth hormone and actually increases lean muscle mass and prevents muscle atrophy. So what does that mean? It means when you're eating 30% less food, when you're fasting, instead of losing muscle, you'll lose fat. My name is Rhonda Percivali. Check out my website at foundmyfitness.com. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. Um, I'm also trying to set up a nutrition and health meetup, and I have sign-up sheets in the, the lobby if you're interested. So come and talk to me. Thank you.